Tuesday, the 29th of April. Thank you for being with us. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television. In the middle of downtown Goldsboro, North Carolina, which happens to be in the middle of Wayne County, which yes, is in it the does. middle of eastern North Carolina. And here we are, and I hope you are as well. I'm Wayne Alley. <laughs> and I'm Kim Best. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> you know, every once in a while, I know it's hard to believe, but every once in a while, I just like to get a little goofy. Ah, uh, hey, I hear you. <laughs> hey, Mickey. No, never no, mind. Uh -uh. Here we go. Uh, we've got... Uh, <laughs> Today is International Dance Day. <laughs> it's uh, also uh, World Wish Day. So we can all make a wish today? Make, make a wish. And all right, close your eyes. Make one real quick. Oh, oh boy. Just go ahead. Okay. I wish my eyes were open. Shh. You're not supposed to oh. tell your wish. Oh, okay. I'll make another one. Okay. Look, okay, I, I did mine. Oh, was that yours? No, I did my own. You did oh, yours. Oh, oh, Everybody out there in TV land can make their own wishes. Make well. your own wishes. World Wish Day. That's right. Who's on today's program? Today we have two gentlemen that were here to talk about the letter carrier food drive. I'm telling you. that, uh, and, and for many years, I've, I've talked to, to Cliff Barnes about this, uh, Cliff Barker about this, uh, and, uh, uh, and, and this year he brought a, a, a guy with him in here. He and sure these did. guys are very informative. You, uh, I'm sure you have heard about the food, the, the letter carriers food drive. That's right. But this year they're going all out. Every year they get more and they more. They do. Food. They get bigger and bigger. It is wonderful. Uh, Wayne County, City of Goldsboro, everybody is a very giving community, by the way. But everybody yes. will be able to help with this one, and I hope you can as well. You'll hear more about it coming up soon. It is a great we program. also had uh, Mark Wilson come on, and he's here talking about all the events that are going to be happening in the next few months through Goldsboro Parks and Recreation. And they're exciting and there's a lot of new ones in there so you definitely don't want to miss that. And I know he looks like he's a really serious down-to-earth guy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, just, Mark. I'm just kidding, Mark. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like Mark. Mark's a good He guy. is great. He, he does, does a good job. He does. Okay, that's on today's program. I'm looking sure forward is. to that. Oh boy. Birthdays for today, the 29th. Yes. Include Tommy James of Tommy James and the Shondells. He is uh, 67 years today. Jerry Seinfeld turning 60. Is he really? He is really. Well, happy birthday, Jerry. That? Daniel Day-Lewis, uh, Academy Award winning actor, mm -hmm. My Left Foot. He's 57 today. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, the lovely lady, 56. Uh, also 56 is Eve Plum. Eve she Plum. was Brady Bunch. Yes. Yeah, I remember good. that. She yeah. was... Uh, uh, on Brady Bunch, and she's the same age as Michelle Pfeiffer. Wow, was she yeah. the middle child? I don't know. I can't I, remember. I think so. I, I, I couldn't keep up with them. And the uh, talented uh, Uma Thurman. Oh, Had yes. Happy birthday. Boy, she's good. She's 44 today. Happy uh, birthday, if it's your special yeah, day. Do happy, something happy. special. That's exactly right. Okay. We all should on that day. All right, those are the birthdays for today. Well, don't forget, this Friday is the Eggs and Issues event, which happens through the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. They're inviting you to come, participate, listen to what our local legislators are, are doing for us at our General Assembly in Raleigh. This will be taking place Friday, May the 2nd, 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. at Lane Tree Golf Course in their conference center. If you're interested in participating, give Wayne County Chamber of Commerce a call and get registered. All of the legislators will be there. I believe it's your Senator Don Davis, your Senator Lewis Pate, uh, House of Representative Jimmy Dixon, House of Representative John Bell, and House Representative Larry Bell. They'll all be there at Lane Tree Golf Course this Friday, May the 2nd. All right. That's, that's, and that'll be very interesting. And very informative. Very informative. You know, we have a primary coming up as well yes, we in do. May. So yes, we do. We'll tell you more about that a little later on. May 1st, I mentioned yesterday, and again, the Senior Games opening ceremonies will be held at 9 a.m. at the Senior Center on East Ash Street. Uh, 9 a.m. on May 1st. That is Thursday. It is. There's it is. always a very large group of folks that it participate. Is. The number gets bigger and bigger every year. It's a group of large folks who will be at this. Not that's large not folks, a large group of folks. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Get that right. <laughs> All right, yeah, don't throw rocks at me. Uh -uh. Uh, it's a group. A large group of folks yes. will be there and be in attendance. Also seniors. The, of seniors. The Silver Follies will be held on May 6th, by the way, 6 p.m. at the Paramount Theater. Everybody's invited to attend, and that is free of charge to everybody. Oh, boy. Also, May 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, 
Center Stage Theater will be putting on the production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. If you've never seen that, it's really good. The music is fabulous. Yes, it is. It really is good. Is. Center Stage always does a good job. Tickets can be purchased for their three shows at the Paramount Theater. You can go to goldsboroparamount.com or you can give them a call and you can purchase your ticket over the phone. Not even going to try to tell the number because I can't see it. <laughs> But that's all right. It's something, something, something. May 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. 8. You might can see four, it. 4 way down there at the bottom. Yeah, 583 8432. There you go. 919 583 8432. That's right. Always a good show. Yes, it is. Um, the um, Wayne County Commissioners, County Manager, Regional Aging Advisory Committee members, and a bunch of other people. I <laughs> have been invited to the Senior Center for a luncheon. Oh, nice. Dignitaries have an opportunity to address the group if desired. Uh, seniors will have a chance to ask questions. Anyone 60 and older invited to join uh, in the uh, meeting or be uh, part of the audience. Advanced registration is required so they'll have enough food to serve. Anyway, call Aaron at 705-1785-705-1785. This is May 12th, that's a Monday, May 12th at 1130 a.m. at the Senior Center. There you go. All right, well, let's stay tuned for our interviews. Joining me in the studio today is Mark Wilson with Goldsboro Parks and Recreations. He has lots to share about activities coming up right here in your community that you can participate in. Good morning hey. and welcome back. Good morning, glad to be here. It's been a day or two since I've seen you. It has. Not many days, but a day or two. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about some of the new things that are happening. I see you guys have a, mm -hmm. a new brochure up uh, yeah. with lots of activities throughout the entire summer. Mm -hmm. So sure what do. are some fun ones coming up? Yeah, like you said, the new brochure is out. Um, if you visit us at Pig in the Park, we were passing some of these out. Um, you can pick them up at any of the facilities, uh, Herman Park Center and W.A. Foster Center. Um, <clears throat> we have, uh, of course, summer camp will be coming up in June. Uh, we have all our summer camps in this is in this guide. And when you say um, all, do you have multiple different types of summer we camps? We do. We have full day summer camps Monday through Friday. We wow. also have half day camps if you're interested in specific sports camps. Um, and there's other things like um, puppeteering, um, audio visual camps, so people can learn how to. You know, do what you guys do My here. My goodness. Yeah, all, all kinds of camps we're going to have this summer. So. so people need to check it mm -hmm. out because there's probably something individualized that their child might be specifically interested in. And that's right. Yeah, and you can visit our website. It should be up there, um, goldsboroparksandrec.com. Um, and, and, and really, it's the best bang for your buck. It's relatively inexpensive, mm -hmm. and it's, it's fun. It's, it's great. So what, other mm -hmm. than your, your camps, which is, you know, they start in June and they'll mm -hmm. last through August? Through August, yeah. Okay. Sure will. Tell us about some of the fun and exciting events for adults. Okay. Uh, well, we have... You have to tell me in, where to go. <laughs> <laughs> Here in your book. Hey, well, April 26th, we're having a, a, a New River Cleanup Day with Ari Jeffries. So if folks want to be a part of that, helping pitch in and clean up the New River here in Goldsboro, we'll be doing that. Where will they meet? Um, we're actually going to meet at uh, Whitetail Landing. Yes. It's, it's a boat launch right there. Mm -hmm. If you're familiar with that, off 117, that's where we'll be, be meeting. Um, that's Saturday morning about 8 a.m. Well, how will you all be cleaning up the noose? Will you be in boats? Will you be? We'll be in boats. We'll be uh, in canoes. We have several um, canoes that we're picking up from, from uh, nearby places as well mm -hmm. as the ones that we own. Um, and of course, you know, we'll have the trash bags and just going along the river. It's, it's really fun, because actually. Because it sounds yeah. like it'd be kind of interesting it's fun. and I mean, fun, too. I mean, thinking like, oh man, I'm with trash, <laughs> but it's, it's a cool time. It's very rewarding, too. Yeah, yeah. And at the end, we'll have food for everybody, and uh, R.A. Jeffries is actually going to have some door prizes this year. Wonderful. Giving away some free stuff. Certain yeah. time you said you guys are meeting? We're, we should be meeting at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, right. white tail landing. Yeah, if you're interested, you know, just contact us, and we can help you get signed up for that. Perfect. Um, yeah. And that's what date? Uh, Saturday, April 26th. Okay, right around the corner. Yep. So what uh, happens after April 26th? After that, uh, for our special populations, we're going to have a day in the park. It's a huge event in Herman Park. That's going to be on Thursday, May 8th. Um, begins at 10 a.m. And we have all kinds of different activities. Uh, the Kiwanis train will be running. Uh, we'll be having hot dog lunches. That's fairly cheap. I think it's $2 for that. Um, giving away ice cream. It's it's really cool time. Petting zoo. Now you have done this quite a while. We have. We've been doing it for quite a few years and we have over a thousand people that come out. I knew it was a pretty large yeah. event. I've been a couple times mm -hmm. and I was really surprised by 
you, they bring family members mm -hmm. that young and young and old and they really have a fantastic time that day and it's all about them it is it it's is. all about them and them having a good time it's great even have a DJ out there playing music oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's really fun. <laughs> lots of dancing and yeah. just lots of good times mm -hmm. on that specific day sure is um, something else we have coming up, our farmer's market will be opening oh, yeah. May 14th. We're excited about that. Yeah, so this year, I mean, last year we opened up in April, mm -hmm. but we're pushing it back just because we had such a cold winter. Um, a lot of the crops weren't quite ready, so right. uh, we're going to be opening uh, Wednesday, May 14th. It'll be the grand opening. We're going to have a cooking demo out there, demonstration. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, Wayne and yeah. I might need to head on out there. Yeah, Herman Park. So Wednesday, May 14th. What time of day? Uh, we open up as soon as the sun hits up, Mom, usually oh, wow. 7 o'clock. Yep. 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. And how long do the um, farmers and, and all the goodies stay out for people to come by and purchase? Um, they usually stay until around, around 5 o'clock. Okay. Yep. And will this be every Wednesday moving forward through every, the summer? Every Wednesday actually going on through uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, so, wow. So, yeah. So everybody needs to mark your calendars, plan on Wednesdays. Every Wednesday when every you Wednesday. need produce, come on out to Herman Park Center. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually in the parking lot. In the parking lot. Right yep. at Herman Park, beside the Yellow Park mm -hmm. House. You'll see all the tents, lots of vendors, and they're local. Yep. Want to come it's and support local. our local farmers. Yeah, and it's a, you know, quite a variety. I mean, if you want vegetables, breads, I mean, a little bit of everything. Oh, oh last year I remember flowers. seeing jewelry. And, yeah. Yeah, fresh cut flowers, hanging baskets. Mm -hmm. The list goes on and on. Baked goods. Baked goods, that's right. Um, and something new we're doing this year, working with uh, DGDC, we're actually going to have um, a Saturday market from 8 to 12. Um, in a different May, location? May 17th at Cornerstone Commons. Oh, wow. Yep. So we'll have a Saturday Something brand auction new. as well. We just, Yay. It's just falling together, and it should be pretty good. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll stay tuned for that. We'll give yeah. you more information coming up soon on the downtown mm -hmm. Saturday farmer's market. Mm -hmm. But I always look forward to the farmer's markets and how when you go, it's like an experience because every farmer has their own story, yeah. and they all enjoy telling you their they story. They, they, love <laughs> they love it just as much as you know we yes, love shopping do. with them. Yes, they do. It's great. Um, and so you right know, after that, what's and, moving and on? Some other things we got. We got Cruise and Newth. It's going to be uh, June 21st. That's one That's of my favorites. It's a very, favorite. very popular event. So, uh, we have you know over 100 people out on the water on the Noose River. Uh, we have all kinds of canoes and kayaks that you can that you can use for that day. Um, so you meet at a, a certain place. We do. Um, hasn't quite been deter deter okay. determined yet, um, but once we, we figure that out, we'll you know, notify everybody. And do you go in groups down the noose? Usually do. Um, we take we take bus loads over to the launch site. Okay. And um, it's usually about you know twenty five to thirty people going off at once. So. So there's always people there, and there's always folks from mm -hmm. Goldsboro Parks and Rec sort of going up and down checking to make sure everybody's That's all right, right. and That's if they correct. need anything. And mm -hmm. look, it makes some of us feel very safe to know that you guys are going yeah. up and down monitoring, making sure that we're, we're all all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we usually have help also from the fire department. They bring their, their boats out there very and good. patrol up and down so to make sure everybody's okay. Good. Now, yeah. how about, is there a lunch involved in this? There is. We have lunch right after that, so... You can't beat it, guys. Yeah. Cruise the noose. You de definitely need to mark it on your calendar. Great time. But yeah. now you fill up quick with that. We do. So if we folks do. want to participate in that, and what's the date one more time? Um, Saturday, June 21st, and registration should be ready um, the first week of May. All right, stay tuned for that one mm -hmm. because that's right around the corner. Mm -hmm. So that's getting us through the first of June. That's getting us through that. Um, if you want to venture into August, we're going to have a hillbilly hike again August 23rd. That's what I was waiting yeah. for, just we're so everybody that. can mark their calendars. Yeah, it's going to be at Waynesboro Park. Um, and you can actually register now if you'd like to. Just go to the website, hillbillyhike.com. You can register online. You know, that gets bigger and bigger every year, it more sure exciting. Does. And you guys are so creative. You keep coming up with new, new and exciting mm -hmm. things. So how are you going to outdo yourself from last year? Uh, we got a few <laughs> more ideas. Yeah, we got a few more ideas. <laughs> I'm sure you all never cease to amaze me with all these creative ideas from the, the vat yeah. of grits that you had to walk through yeah. last year. You we're, don't ever know. <laughs> we're working on a water slide this year or something. Oh, <laughs> that sounds interesting. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Um, a muddy water slide. Yep. I can see it now. Yep. Oh, my goodness. So, and, and something else new that, you know, you've been helping out with yeah. um, is Beak Week. So, um, September 13th. Um, it's a huge festival. It's going to be downtown Center Street. The and, first and ever Beak Week. Beak Week. Put it on your calendars now and tell us what Beak means, Beak Week. Beak Week is, is going to be a poultry festival here here in Goldsboro. Um, and why poultry? 
was celebrating our industries that we have here. Goldsboro Milling, um, Butterball, Case Farms, you know, a lot of... Chicken and turkey. Chicken and turkey. A lot of poultry right here in Wayne County. We're mm -hmm. celebrating that. We want to really draw attention to how much we do have industry-wise right here in Wayne County. So Beak Week stands for that. We want you to come out and be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Tell us a few. I know you can't tell us everything. There's a lot of secrets still right yeah. now trying to get this all worked <clears throat> out. Well, we're going to have, you know, arts and craft vendors. We're going to also have um, several food trucks. Um, kids rides and we're going to have some musicians and and we're, we're now we're looking at having a national act for for the main headliner oh yeah we got so a big something name new, something big we've been working on yeah, hopefully we'll be able to announce exciting. it pretty soon yeah well i'm looking forward to it there's lots and lots that's going to be happening mm -hmm. for beak week downtown goldsboro yeah. the first annual beak week you're going to see more and more about it it's going to be a big deal folks so add it to your calendar and i think you know we're going to grow every year uh, you know, we'll, this year we'll only be able to hold it on one end of uh, Center Street because of the construction that'll be going on. But we're excited to see what will happen in years to come, how large this is going to be and how exciting and fun, not just for our local folks, but for surrounding counties as well. Correct. Yep. Hopefully it'll be, we're hoping to make this a huge annual festival, like you said. Um, if folks, if you're interested in, in checking it out, we have our website, beakweek.org, um, and also a Facebook page. So we'll be having right. um, several updates on there. It's yeah, so a check us out in both of those locations. We'll be constantly updating with new and exciting things that are going to be happening and coming together for, for Beak Week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I guess that's, it could be a takeoff of either things, Shark Week or Bike Week. Bike Week, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you go <laughs> either way, right? Week. Yeah, yeah, Shark Week, Bike cool, Week. Yeah. We got Big Week. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, Mark, thank you so much for being with Thanks. us. Y'all always have a lot to yeah, choose from. To it's here. fun to talk about. So if you ever hear there's nothing to do in Goldsboro, man, you need to check out Goldsboro Parks and Recreation. They have a lot to choose from, and that's what's happening right here in our community. Our guest in the studio today, a couple of guys here to talk about carrying uh, letter carrier food drive, <laughs> not carrying anything, but we want to welcome to the studio, of course, Cliff Barker, who, believe it or not, you're, according to his uniform, is with the U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> right, Cliff? Yes, sir. All right, and Joe Jones, you're here representing, you're retired, but you're here representing St. Vincent de Paul. Yes, I am. All right, and the letter carrier's food drive has been going on for many, many, many years. And uh, we want to talk about this. This is coming up when, Joe? May the 10th. May the 10th. And it's Cliff, a Saturday. It's a Saturday. How long has this been going on? In Wayne County, it's been going on 19 years. Okay. And you, I have talked to you many times about this. Probably 15 years. All right. You've been doing <laughs> it for about 15 years. Okay. Yes, sir. Joe, uh, the food will be collected by the, uh, the postal carriers. Yes. And uh, taken to one point or two points two and then points. distributed to whom? It'll be distributed to six different organizations in the area. Excuse six me. Six organizations. That's We're going to be have? distributed to the Soup Kitchen, the Community Crisis Center, the Salvation Army, St. Vincent de Paul, mm -hmm. United Church Ministries, and Wayne Uplift. Those Center. six organizations will be receiving the benefits of the food yes. uh, that the letter carriers will be picking up. Yes. yes. Now, uh, now, how big an area will this cover? Uh, will, we, will we be picking up food? We'll be picking up in the 275-30 through 34, at, but if uh, Pikeville or the rural counties, rural parts of the county want to donate, I'm sure that we can get it. Okay, so if someone lives outside the city of Goldsboro, right. uh, and outside those uh, Princeton, Princeton, Pikeville, Pikeville Eureka, Place Mount Olive, second. Dudley. I'm sure uh, we can get it. You can make arrangements. Yes, sir. Uh, the better thing for to do to help if you really want to help, you can help, is to take food at any time to the post office. There's yes. a box, right? There's a dump box between May 5th and May the 16th. There you go. We'll have the boxes at the post office, so you can bring them there. All right. Do you remember last year? Were you working with this last year? No, oh, no, I wasn't. Last I was year. working with it, but not in charge, you know, helping run it. Okay, well, I'm trying to remember how many, how many, what kind of poundage we got last year. I believe we got 15,700. And our goal this Whoa. year is 16,000. 15,000 plus pounds. Yes. That's over seven tons. That's yeah. Man, I love Goldsboro and Wayne County. Mm -hmm. yep. These people really they come do together. Well. They do they come do together. Well. They really do. This is a giving community. Mm -hmm. And this is just one example of the, of the sharing and the giving that this community, when, it's time, when times are tough, times are tough right now. Mm -hmm. Very people tough. are having a lot of trouble. If you, go, if you ever go over to the soup kitchen, and you see who comes into the soup kitchen, 
you will be amazed at who comes to that soup kitchen That's right. and to the St. Vincent de Paul and yes. to the other lo other organizations looking for a hot meal. Yes. We're talking about families, right. whole families. We're talking about children That's right, who right. cannot, whose families cannot afford to buy food to put on the table. We see it every day. We see it every day when we're delivering food to these people. Which is amazing to me. Here we are in America. That's right. Right. Land of the free, home of the brave, and I love America, but something's wrong with this picture. We've got people <laughs> going hungry. That's right. We can't and have that. More and more every year. So on May 10th, the Letter Carriers Food Drive is asking for your help. Now, how do we, how do we put food out? Well, this year we're going to be doing something a little different. We always have the cards, and we will be uh, delivering the cards the week of uh, May 10th, and then we're going to have uh, bags that you can, we're going to provide you with bags so that you can put the food in there and hang it from your mailbox or uh, um, your door handle if you have a uh, porch mm -hmm. pickup. Now that's new, isn't it? Yes, sir. Providing the bags. Yes, You're sir. You're providing bags this yes, year. Sir. Yes, sir. Wow. We've, You're going to make it easy. We've been fighting. <laughs> we've trying. Been, we've yeah. been trying to get that done for a few years. But um, we ask that you, really all we need to surpass, our goal this year is 16,000 pounds. And all we need to surpass that is one can per person, or one box per person in each family. Put them in the box, and we'll pick them up, and we should be able to fill up four trucks if everybody in Wayne County can just do that little bit. Wow. And the, the letter carriers and the rural carriers, they're looking forward to the, this day, and at the end of the day, they, they brag about how much they got. So let's make them proud. It, it's kind of a... Kind of a uh, a, a bit of a competition between the carriers, isn't it? It ends up being. How many did you get? Well, I got a whole bunch. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, man, yeah, I got yeah. more than you got. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, and a uh, well, couple yeah. things to mention. Krispy Kreme Donuts is going to donate 12 dozen donuts that morning. I love Krispy Kreme. For the uh, letter carriers. That's right. That's wonderful. So to get them started for the day. Yep. That's great. And uh, get, we ask them please don't give us any glass bottles. Cause no glass bottles, no please. Glass. Use and some common sense here. And no expired food. <laughs> no expired food. Right. right. So and something that's a year old past the date, you don't want that in. Well, we'd rather not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and you know, I had a whole pound of hamburger I was going to give you, but that won't work, will it? Only Not if it's hamburger. cooked and has a bun on it. <laughs> and has a bun on it. <laughs> okay. okay, no meat, no uh, perishable products. That's right. right. We're only talking about non-perishables. We're talking about boxed items and canned items right. like right. you see on the table right here. Exactly. We're looking at a, par a Parmesan something or other and hamburger tuna helper. That, that'll that work. Uh, right. Mott's and then the Contadina stuff. Tomato sauce. <laughs> Tomato sauce. What for is spaghetti. That That's what for is spaghetti. That? Is that spaghetti? That's for spaghetti. That's for spaghetti. Man, right. I'm getting hungry here. What is this? Is this tuna? Uh, that's mm -hmm. chicken breast, I believe. Oh, uh, okay. Chicken and that'll work. Anything. Mm -hmm. Canned canned goods chicken will breast. work. Canned right. goods, boxed thing. What about cereal? Will you take cereal? Cereal, yes. we'll take cereal. All right. We've even known to take dog food. Get out of here. <laughs> we've is had that, you know, the dogs got, get hungry. Yeah. Yep, we've had dog food mm -hmm. donated and, and diapers some, and some people will. Well, do you take diapers? They we we don't had, turn anything down. We've had diapers. Organization in town that will it, use it if we well, don't. And, and I was just going to mention that uh, these people who go hungry uh, during the year, uh, who have pets, a uh, pets part of the family, that's and right. they will often forego their own meal in order to keep their pets. That's true. Fed. That's right. So if you can give some do uh, some pet food, that would help as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, it's May 10th. That's the second Saturday in May. Yes. The day before, the Mother's, day. before Mother's Day. The day before Mother's Day. That's right. Uh -huh. What a nice thing. We make it easy. That's that nice. Way, that's nice. Right. That way Mom can have a Mother's Day dinner. Right. right. All right. And uh, we want to remind everyone that in the post office, and this is uh, Main, downtown. Both post offices. And right. Cashwell. Right. You'll have a dump box. We'll have a hamper. Mm -hmm. to, to a hamper, that sounds better than dump box, mm -hmm. <laughs> to put uh, food in, yep. canned goods and such. Right. That's right. Okay, so, and that's May 5th you'll start May that. 5th to the 16th. Myth, uh, okay, before and after the, the drive yes. itself starts. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's, who's some of the volunteers helping with this, uh, organizations and such? Krispy Kreme, we know. Well, Krispy Kreme. Thanks to Amanda and all the fine folks there with Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. And right. who else do we have? Um, the community, well, the people that are going to get it the are the Benton. soup ki kitchen, right. our community crisis center, the Salvation Army, uh, St. Vincent de Paul Society, United Church Ministries, and Domestic Violence Center. 
Okay. So there's six organizations going to get the food. It's and I know split up. And the post office does it. You guys do a great job yes, of this. Yes, they do. We try. But you have other people helping as well. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. We got some from the Air Force coming out to volunteer. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for Seymour yeah. Johnson Air Force. Seymour Johnson. Thank you. Be, yeah. mm -hmm. And and each of these um, organizations are are asked to provide six volunteers also. Okay. But we ask for more just in case something happens where these can't. Yeah, that's all right. And the Salvation Army also uh, gives us their food truck for the day. So we have water and, you know, and Dang it. little snacks and stuff while we're doing this work. <laughs> all right. All right, let it roll. That's all right. Just let it go. All right. Do something they're, for that. They're calling to bring food. Are they? That's what they're doing. That's right. Oh, okay. Well, we could have used that, I guess. But that's all right. I'm going to clip it right here. Great. And we're going to start at a point. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Let me see. Not that it was important, but... It better be. <laughs> I'll let me just continue to roll. Yeah, just let it roll. Yeah. yeah, don't stop it. Kurt calls me in the middle of this. Oh, okay. Now, to stop it, you'll want to hit Control Record, okay? But don't do it now. Okay. Control yeah, Record sure is at the top. Control is up next to the left mm -hmm. of uh, Record. Is that All Kurt right. Keller? Kurt, Kurt, oh, Kurt Keller. Farmer. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right, now here we go. We're going to start this back in five, four, and we're still rolling. Three, two, one. Now, how many, uh, uh, we mentioned uh, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base and right. some of the other organizations. You said some of them have, they, they provide volunteers Yes, as well. we do. And we're asking each organization list that I listed here to give us at least six volunteers. Okay. To help, and that's just to sort the food out into the different barrels and deliver the barrels to the organization and things like that. Well, that's wonderful. Well, fellas, good luck with this. You do this every year. Mm -hmm. we're, we're proud of this sort of effort here in Wayne County because this is, this is what makes Wayne County special. That's right. People helping people. Yes, and that's the exactly Postal Service has been doing this for so many years, and, and Joe is a volunteer with St. Vincent de Paul. Thank you for your service uh, in, in helping to collect this food. Again, it's May 10th, the day before Mother's Day. It's the second Saturday in May, and the box will be set up at the post offices on right. May 5th through May 16th. Fellas, thanks a lot. Thank you, Wayne. All Thank right. you, Wayne. Thank you. Thank Cliff you. Barker of the Postal Service, and Joe Jones, retired former Navy man. Right? Yes, that's true. All right. I don't know how you knew that, but that's true. I just, you know, a little birdie <laughs> here. I got birds in my head. A little there birdie. You go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, you see that letter carrier's food drive thing is really big, and it's important that you take part in this. And again, as, as the guys were saying, if you can't put food out next to your mailbox, or if you live outside, the area that they're, where they'll be collecting the food. You Come can always at any time take your food to the post office. That's on Cashville Drive or the post office downtown. And there's a, there's a drop box there where you can actually leave your food there. Non-perishables, please. No That's meats, right. no dairy products, anything like that. But uh, cereal, canned goods, that sort of thing. Please help. Well, we're a very giving community, but we do ask that you participate if you can. Yes, we do. And Mark Wilson always does a great job. He does, and I'm telling you, he had to throw in that little hillbilly hike down at the, at the end of the interview because people look so forward to that. And every year, they put on their thinking caps and always get very creative <laughs> and come up with something different. Oh, yeah. After last year's very large vat of grits, I'm interested to see what will be new this year. And I'm sure it'll be something interesting. I know. The vat of grits, you talking about the vat of grits where everybody ended up going into the vat yes, of grits? Yes, you had to walk through, wade through it. <laughs> <laughs> Always interesting, and of course that'll be at Waynesboro Park. A fellow by the name of Michael Heaton. Do you know him? I believe I do. Heard of him, huh? Uh, Michael Heaton will be offering a free, this is for senior citizens now, 16 up, a free six-week senior chair yoga class at the Seeger Senior Center. This will be every Friday, 4.30, beginning May 9th. <clears throat> now, uh, Michael, uh, Michael says participants will work on gentle flexibility, strengthening, and stretching. A chair yoga class. This is at 4:30 Friday, May 9th, and uh, breathing techniques will be covered as well. You must pre-register, however. Pre-register. You could register right now. Call Aaron at 705-1785. No more than 10 participants. Participation is oh, really? limited. Okay. Yeah, they can only take small up classes. to 10. A small class. If you want more information or you want to go ahead and register, call the senior center at 705. One seven eight five. And Michael is a certified yoga instructor. He has his master certification. He's worked very hard to get that. Been doing that for years. Yeah. So that'll be a great class. I have no idea that he had that talent. Absolutely. He is, uh, of course, of course, Goldsboro City Councilman. City Councilman, yeah. Yes. Anyway, man of many talents. Many talents. 
speaking of many talents, we'll have to do this again tomorrow. I think so. Because I'm out of things right now. But anyway, we'll be back Wednesday. How's that? We'll be here right here Wednesday. I hope you're able to join us. In the meantime, have yourself a very good day. Join us online at WayneGov.com and click on whatever link you want to click on to find us on the YouTube channel. That's right. You can also go to the uh, city, city of Goldsboro at GoldsboroNC.gov. Click on the YouTube link. So until tomorrow, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best. And this is what's happening in your community.